Hey everybody, this is a very quick Howard Terminal update that is very important. First of all, I want to dispel one notion that's out there that the upcoming election has no bearing on Howard Terminal and its future. That is completely not true. I'll give you one example that proves why. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff, as I say, way back in 2000. 18, actually 2019 really, was the person who greenlit the extended exclusive negotiating agreement with the athletics investment group to have basically a, a dual look at the Coliseum site and Howard Terminal and the ENA gave the Athletics and Investment Group a choice between one or the other. Well, they decided to pick both. Yeah. Howard Terminal for the stadium, but then the Coliseum for redevelopment. The ENA didn't say that was an option, but the mayor didn't object either. The process I just recited to you is proof of what can happen to a development project by the actions of a mayor in Oakland under strong mayor. Now, Libby's termed out. Who will be the next mayor is of paramount importance because you could, we could get a mayor that does not want to continue Howard Terminal because they want a ballpark at the Coliseum regardless of what the athletics think. And they would believe this person that they were playing hardball. Look at, for example, the statements that Greg Hodge made recently, who's decided to go all out, it seems, against Howard Terminal for reasons best known to him, but have little to do with reality. I'm just saying that bluntly. But they have everything to do with his reality, and if he becomes mayor, his reality becomes your reality and my reality, and that's a fact. So don't listen to someone who ha has little history with the Howard Terminal Project. I have a history with this project that goes all the way back before the turn of the century. It's the 21st century. And I can tell you that this matter has been nothing short of a political football for that entire time. Subscribe to Zinni62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnowblog.com.